Yeah, they the actually place. do. Two of the biggest Wi-Fi warriors out there for sure. Yeah, it's really interesting because, uh, well, most matches with, with Chungi Kong anyway, it's because he's playing matchups that, again, I always think, man, this is really rough. I don't know how DK wins against all these combo heavy characters, these super projectile heavy characters. Like, how does he get in? He's going to have a really rough time, but every time he finds a way, like when he gets that hit, he runs with the momentum so well. And yeah. I think when it comes to his opponents, especially people that are experienced playing him, they're just, their main game plan is like, all right, I just can't let him get started. <laughs> at all like once once i have them out i gotta keep them like that so exactly. i think that's what people are gonna do to win this game that's something you can do with young link specifically actually all three links all around but with young link it does it really really well just because he has the speed he has the ability to combo dk that's it's really good for skittles to go for empty hops there in that specific situation look he's able to shield get that punish gets out the front hit and he takes the stock it's it's good yeah. because those empty hops allow him to kind of bait out chucky kong in this situation, that was that's what Skittles always wants to do, is kind of stay one step ahead of him Ooh. by baiting him or just having a hit on him and having a lead like so. Man, um, Skittles kind of dropped that edge guard, but still, that was, that was really good for him to get the double fair on the double jump. Uh, DK without a double jump off stage is usually in a terrible spot, especially if he doesn't aim his up B correctly. But yeah, we're seeing right now, Skittles is not letting DK have any fun at all. <laughs> He's getting hit here and there, but nothing that's gonna lead to him uh, getting getting killed, really. Yeah. Oh, got the shield poke. Yep. And the up air after the hero spin, really good move to just follow up through. Swings Ooh. the forward air, and of course DK is such a tall hurt box. So if he, he was gonna get shield poked if the shield was a little too small. Unfortunately oh. though, there's the spinning Kong, not the stock. Oh, right nice. There the yeah, he didn't die from that from mid stage. Some characters do, but uh. He has some decent DI. It also wasn't super high percent, but there's the back air. Finally getting the stock off. Okay, let's see what Chunky Kong can do. He, he needs a lot to bring this back right now. That's and uh, there's no real reason for Skittles to deviate from his game plan. He, he's playing it so well right here. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, it, it's kind of one of those things where I do like that Skittles opts to cover a lot of options when he drops the bomb. Because it forces Chunky to evaluate, like, do I really want to go for a roll like in that situation? Or am I going to be forced to hold my shield on my neutral get up and then I'll get a grab? Which is not that bad in hindsight. Yeah, I mean, that's just really good Toon Link. Or, sorry. Well, Toon Link too, but all the links really. Like, they have that bomb at the ledge just to cover so many defensive options. And, uh, yeah, they can just hit you with a multiple of thing, things just for having that projectile there. So we're going to see that a lot from Skittles, especially versus DK, who just doesn't really have super good ledge options to begin with. Oh, free punish here. Oh, what's he going? What's he I, going I, for? I, I like oh, that he's crazy. No, that, was, that was clean. That was clean, dude. Like, dude that, was, that was so smart. But yeah, he needs, he needs all he can get because yeah, that takes his down air on the platform. Very easy to, <laughs> to seal out stocks, especially on a big character like DK. I think it would have covered Roland too. Yeah, at that situation for Skittles, it was good because down air has a couple good lasting hitbox frames. So it's able to just call out a character like DK, especially in the getup. So that was an excellent for a texture, specifically because it was like a really high percent. So good stuff to Skittles. Uh, kind of slowing down Chucky Kong, but hey, man, we all know the story. Once you get him started, once he gets started, he can definitely make the comeback here. It's going to be game two. Yeah. Yeah, that's best of five, too. So um, he has all the time in the world to adapt to how Skittles is playing, get some momentum going, you know really get some wind in his sails here. So I'm not going to count Chunky Kong out just off of that rough first game. But yeah. I used to, to run it back to Battlefield. Must be very confident here. We also saw last week after you know, Chunky Kong did win last week that he got so many uh, cargo throw up bears to kill, um, especially on platform stages like this. I'm curious what he has specifically on Young Link on Battlefield in that regard, um, especially with the rage he works with. He, he can probably steal an early stock you know, if you can get that combo to work. But uh, <laughs> that's like, you know, talking maybe a little bit too early because, man, skills is not making it easy at all. No, but as he shouldn't, man. He's got, when you're able to just go to town on DK, do it as best as possible. Oh, oh no. That oh, was no. That was oh, no. See, that's the thing. That's why it's really good to mash out earlier from that uh, cargo throw like that because you can actually really consistently get the footstool on DK for doing that. Yeah, and but, it's uh, actually one of those deals where like DK does commit to that cargo throw option, that if you're able to mash out, you can actually punish him effectively. That was really weird sus DI from Skittles, because he survived that the last time when it came to the yeah. Spinning Kong. Okay, so the cargo throw maybe doesn't kill as early on the top platform on the stage. 
to know. It's good for Skittles too that he's kind of. You can see he's playing a lot more reserved, very slow paced, rather than you would see an aggressive young Link, where he will toss a lot of projectiles. He's more so looking for Chucky Kong to make those options in which he favors. Like he sees the distance going with Fire Arrow and then close in for, for some percent. Well, yeah, I mean, this just goes to show you again, like, Chucky Kong works really well with momentum. So uh, Skittles recognizes that, so he's like, okay, I'm not just gonna give him any free openings. I'll just continue to play safe, take these easy hits. Yeah. And, uh, it's not difficult for, you know, Young Link to play that game against DK at all. Look at that, even the arrow is stopping the, <laughs> the Ubby in his tracks. Oh, excellent DI out too, because people usually would DI in specifically at the ledge. Just because you don't want to get tossed off the stage. Alright, Trey okay. Kung is looking for Hello. a possible comeback with Skittles with the low recovery. Oh, oh nice. Not nice. enough range. Nice up there. Yeah, not enough range. Down air is really, really good on active hitbox, really, really strong, really powerful, but it doesn't have a lot of range. Oh, Excellent forward air with the Z drop, yeah. too. He knew that if this guy was going to go below him, use the Z drop to cover that opportunity and then just catch him with the forward air. So you cover a lot of options. Really good stuff on Skittles there. Yeah, it might have even comboed into the fair if the bomb hit, too. And just like that, man, Skittles is up to, oh, one thing you guys want to notice, too, specifically against Chucky Kong, is Skittles is not making the mistake of going to PS2, man. He has learned the lessons that others have failed to learn before him. So, good stuff to him on going on that one. You definitely don't want to take DK to PS2. Three, two, it is weird to hear the menu theme as part of, like, the battling one, but hey, here we are. I think the whole update with them putting any song on Battlefield NFT is just like really strange. It's a double <laughs> it's sword. Songs, it's just like it doesn't sound right sometimes. Yeah. But it is what it is. Exactly. This song is one of the few that fits though. It's a but, well, uh, to me it's a double edged sword, because like in this specific situation, I can't choose what song plays from Battlefield, but if I'm offline, then I can. So it's I wish they could let you do that online. That was something that I felt like was uh kind of overlooked that. Oh, a lot of pressure on the ledge. Chungi Kong, man, he's a big read right now to make oh, up yeah. for this deficit. Oh, easy, easy hit confirmed. It's like the worst part, too, about uh, playing DK in this matchup is that the window for Young Wing's combos is so large just oh, due yeah. to how big he is. This oh, man my hit goodness. him with down air to up air to like another <laughs> up air. Like, yeah. speaking about windows, like, that's a very big window to have against. Yeah. Sometimes you can freestyle on DK. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> He's just so big. But uh, I think it's good too, because like Skittles like mixing in like these these big combos with like this zoning game too. So it's not easy to just find an opening at all. Nice bomb snipe. Almost gets another one, but he's back at the ledge. Doesn't cover the roll. Nice. Oh, he's not gonna roll nope. into that. Yeah, no panic, <laughs> no panic. Double nair, oh, yeah, excellent. But... Oh, let me just kick him again. The fourth nair is a charm. <sighs> Z drop Nair, that was good because it covered him as well. And the fact that like Link's Young Link, all the Link's fastest moves out of shield is usually Nair. But unfortunately for Skittles, he will be, finally get caught by the down special into the up smash. Chucky Kong with a bit of a tough break here because he's still at a deficit, especially on tournament set here. Yeah, he's you know already down 2 0 on his last stock with the stock deficit right now. It, if any time to make a big play, it's here. Oh, wasn't able to get much off of that combo. Okay. All right, good trade. Nice oh. on Chucky to be a little bit aggressive there. That was a little bit of shield damage. Not enough to poke through. Skittles, though, I mean, on the patient side. I appreciate that, though, because look at look at how much he has to work with here. Oh, no, no tech chase. And he's looking for the grab on the platform. I wonder if this percent's enough to go for the cargo throw. I feel like it might be, and I think that's what Skittles really understands. That's why you're seeing him use Nair. Nice. Gets the first hit of forwarder to fast fall oh. into the down tilt. Excellent play there. I just think it's crazy how Young Link is just kick so many times in the air, and they're all so fast. And you have to kind of respect that option. But oh. there's the Charge Force match. Finally, game to fall into his hands. Gets a stock here. Let's see if the comeback is real. Uh, I don't want to count out Chucky Kong because I've seen him do this so many times. And uh, this is a good start. It's a good 45%. Really good juggle there for Chucky Kong. But he's on the platform here. Ooh, a little bit of a misinput for skills, I think. A lot of pressure on the platform. 
Oh my goodness, Chunky Kong trying to find an opening, oh. but he can't. So many hitboxes he had to worry about. He just never stopped swinging, man. He's like, you're, you're big. You're going to get hit by one of these. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely the story there. He was going to get hit by one of those. I mean, that neutral there out of shield for all three links, specifically young link and link, is a really good fast option out of shield. And it's something really difficult for DK to deal with because you have that fast out of shield option. And then you also have a really good up out of shield. It's really good for both uh, for young link in that situation. So that's going to be a 3-0 from Skittles.